So yeah, that's why I wanted to double check that, make sure that we weren't uh, wasting our time doing that. Uh, it's worth mentioning there that I guess that Luna must be very close or maybe slightly, j just slightly faster than the Maws because uh, the past couple of battles, she's actually been beating them to the punch. Okay, a new enemy type here. Let's check it out. Okay, okay, we got the Ice Mongrel here. Okay, so being ice there, one would think that you might be weak to some fire. So let's try some explosion staff and get those all in a line there. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, attack that. Oh, man, you are quick. You are a speedy little mongrel there. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Luna, Luna outpacing Alex here now. Uh, now that he's doing an explosion staff thing there. Okay, well, that was enough to take it out there. <laughs> Dang, that was quick. That was a quick little guy. But, okay, now we just go ahead and go on the attack here. No problem. Uh, team's looking a little hurt there, but that's okay. And dang, dang, if I remember correctly there, that little ice guy there, the little ice pup, does have the chance to run away there, will likely run away from battle there, uh, causing you to miss out on the uh, experience and money that he drops there, so you know. So trying to take him out right away is a good idea. <laughs> So yeah, and we can see here there's another locked treasure chest to keep in mind for later. For later. <laughs> I promise eventually there will be a way of opening those. I, I won't lie to you guys there, and you know, <laughs> the game will just put those in there for nothing. So, oh yeah, more monsters. <laughs> oh, that fight got a little rough there, there was a mix of just about every kind of enemy that we fought so far in that one there. And I probably should have left that one in there, but that's okay. That's okay. Ah, well. Yeah, we've seen them all before there, so yeah. <laughs> like I said, just a little bit of a little bit of close call there with uh, uh, Alice going down at one point there, but you know, we we toughed it out. <laughs> all right, 250 silver there, and uh, another doorway to go through or stairway, whichever. Oh, okay, and we're up here with people to talk to now. Hey, you guys must be newcomers. I can help you out of these keys. There, all you have to do is ask me how. Alex, if he's such a genius, why is he still down here? I don't trust him. Right, anything else there to say? Take my advice and I'll have you out here in an instant. Alex, like I said, this guy's said before, this guy's full of it. Uh, one more time? Nope, okay, nothing new. <laughs> uh, looking for something there new, but you know. Oh well, fair enough there, I guess. Hello, please allow me to, please allow myself to introduce myself. In this case, no, well, you didn't introduce yourself there. You said you were gonna introduce yourself and then you oh, introduce yourself there? What the heck, guy? <laughs> This case is not my bag, baby. Would you, would you swing and cast to know the way out? <laughs> okay. <laughs> please allow me to, please allow myself to correct yourself. I am not a cat. Gore, blimey. Your cat flies and talks. Smash him, baby. <laughs> All right. And you, Sir Knights, there, <laughs> looking person there. Ah, I've been told about how confusing the cave was, but I won't give up now. I'm gonna become a great wizard and make my par parents proud of me. I'm sure they already are. You're an inspiration. <laughs> All right, and looping up around here again. Uh, I don't think there's anything uh, to do down here. Nope, just making sure. Uh, try not to incur the wrath of those moths there. I think that they can still fly up here and get us. And one more person it looks like, other than the uh, trial proctor, so to speak. <laughs> I just want to study magic. I'm scared stiff of this place. Wait, I know. I cast a spell on myself to be brave. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Draw my courses fast like ponies. With the spell, <laughs> I gain cajones. <laughs> okay. I think this guy's going to be in here for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, nothing else over this way, right? Yeah. Uh, avoid the moth there if we can. Uh, are we in decent shape there? I, uh, well, yeah. Let's see the level, uh, next level of the cave is... Monsters much stronger than ones you faced so far. You need magical refreshment for the final stage of your journey? Okay, the final stage of the journey there. Sure, yeah, we'll go ahead and get a refresher here, and I'll take a pause break thereafter, and uh, we'll be back for the final leg of the trial. Alright, all healed up, saved up. Let's go ahead and continue with the trial in the Cave of Trials as we get ambushed. <laughs> Okay, you know what, I'm gonna leave this one in here because it's a big group of enemies there. I don't think I've shown off this particular group there with everybody <laughs> being thrown at us, basically. 
But we are going to uh, just go with the regular attacks here. We are wanting to save our MP, especially at this point here. Uh, hint, hint. <laughs> so try to conserve your MP as best you can going forward from this point. And uh, man, I should have had you. I should have made you attack the slumber <laughs> moth there, but you avoided the, the sleep powder there. So, you know, no harm, no foul, I suppose. <laughs> All right, let's continue the attack here. And you're gonna have to off, yeah. Okay, ah well. So, yep, yeah, we're gonna get hit with another laser attack here. Ouch. <laughs> and let's go ahead and uh, charge, Alex. All right, well, use one of your attacks to get there, there. That's a little bit of a shame there, but nice how I get to show that off, I guess, sir. That's not something that I believe I've shown off yet there, where Alex kind of stopped partway walking towards the enemy there and uh, had to use another one of his actions there to continue moving forward. So, yeah, <laughs> one of his attacks there. All right, uh, we are going to want to heal up there, which is a shame that we can't use items to do so. That would be really handy right now. <laughs> but uh, M as far as Luna's MP goes, we got a good bit of MP for her, so I'm not too worried about her losing out on uh, her magic points there. So I uh, didn't think there was anything up that way. There's something, oh, okay, another one of these uh, uh, what is it? Ice Mongrels there. We'll take them off, off screen there. More experience? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sadly the Mongrel did run away this time there, so no big boost in experience that time around there. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind there when you're fighting them, they do have, like, really high physical, uh, defense there, so you're not gonna really do a whole lot of damage with the regular attacks, but they only have, like, 4 HP. So if you get, uh, the drop on there, like you could get him done. It's <laughs> for the experience wise, there you probably want to use one of your big attacks there to get rid of them right away. But uh, oh, hey, a guy here in the uh, dangerous part of the trial here. Let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. Oh, there, adventurers. I've been living in this cave since I began my trial five, five years ago. Man, are you okay? <laughs> I haven't found my way out of here, but I've grown quite comfortable here. I really don't care if I ever pass the trial. Really? Really? That's... Uh, okay, I guess, you know, to each their own, but yeah. Let's not lose hope like this poor soul, Alex. Yes, let's not. Uh, anything else to say? You learn to like it here. I have. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no, let's pass on that. And let's not pass up this treasure here. <laughs> so yeah, as for the Ice Mongrels there, as far as... Uh, when you really want the experience there, it's best to nail them with a uh, magic attack from Alex there, like the explosion staff. So they got that one shot. But, uh, right, like I said, there, we're really trying to conserve MP, especially Alex's MP, because Alex is our damage dealer with his magic, magic attacks. All right, another battle won there. And, oh, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and pop off Alex again here. Keep him... Nice and healthy there, and still got a good bit of MP for Luna there, so yeah, not too worried about that yet. Uh, another Ice Mongrel. There, let's take him out. And more running of the Ice Mongrels there. Ah, uh, there were two in that battle there, I didn't get either of them there, so that's a little sad, but like I said, I really want to hold on to my MP for uh, what's to come up ahead there, so yeah, get yeah, us. Uh, just a little bit of a heal here. Let me double check, was there anything else up? Oh, well, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that yet. Okay, yeah. There is something else down this way there. That's where that's where the treasure chest is here. So more silver. Hooray. <laughs> more money. I can use that. And yeah, uh hmm, I could probably use getting topped off here, seeing what's awaiting us there. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get ourselves fully healed there. Just make sure that we're in full fighting spirit here. And yeah. Let's go. Alex, do you see that? That thing is blocking the exit. Defeating that creature must be the final trial. I would imagine so there, so uh, we'll go ahead and save here real quick. Uh, got ourselves topped off, and yep, let's go ahead and get saved up there, just in case. <laughs> and just a note there, since you can save anywhere, I do recommend saving often, especially when there's something like that <laughs> in front of you there. But uh, do try to make multiple saves if you're able to do so there, just in case there you want to go back to an earlier point, like... Uh, you know, somewhere that you can be better prepared for what's going on there, but you know, we're as prepared as we're going to be. Let's do this. Let's fight. Yeah. If we don't take him down, we can't go up. That uh, makes sense to me. Sounds like a logical <laughs> uh, thing to say to me there. So let's go ahead and get up 
by taking him down. Yeah, the Truffle Troubler. Nice. I like that name, the alliteration there. I approve. All right. So let's start off with many of uh, these boss battles there. Let's go ahead and fortify ourselves here. Get Alex some nice attack boosts there. And some nice attack and defense boosts from Luna. Nice. Nice. All right. And here we see the Truffle Troubler will, yeah, do that attack, which hits everybody there, which is not good. Yeah, very not good. So uh, let's go ahead and... Sword dance here, and hmm, what do I want to do with Luna's magic here? Should we just go ahead and preemptively heal? Probably preemptively heal Alex there, get him back up to full, and then next turn we'll heal Luna. I think that's the best way to go. And near 300 damage, nice, nicely done, Alex. <laughs> Big damage numbers. So yeah, definitely want to keep Alex on his feet to keep doing that kind of damage there. <laughs> All right, and we can see the Trouble Troubler is doing a different attack here with the. Uh, shockiness up on its uh, mushroom head there. Nope, not attack. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, so now let's heal Luna. Get, keep Luna up on her feet as well there. Everybody's gonna be need, need to stay healthy for this one. <laughs> so yeah, if you kept your MP high there, you should be pretty good for this fight here. And, okay, okay. Alex is good there. So that attack does have a chance to paralyze you for uh, for a bit, so yet yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want that to happen there if it's possible to avoid. <laughs> like, you know, you can't really do much about it there. You gotta just uh, cross your fingers there and hope that the RNG doesn't screw you over in that way there. So, alright, Alex still on his feet there. Uh, on his feet and not paralyzed. So, yet more healing song. And then we'll probably do a tranquil song after this there to heal both our party members there, keep them both healthy. Because yet more multi-attack here. And yeah, Alex is pretty low there, and I don't want to risk Luna getting too far down either there. So, Sword Dance and Tranquil Song. More big numbers. Alright, he's got to get, be getting pretty darn close there. Alex has got one more Sword Dance left in them there, and then we're going to be down to our regular attacks, but that's okay. Okay, so, alright, doing the single target attack there. That's pretty nice for us. So, uh, we will... Healing song, Alex there, and hopefully we get hit here. Hopefully, not that matters. I got some battles done. Yeah, on the last sword dance. <laughs> nice, nice. And Alex gains a level. Huzzah! Kind of nice that. Like you know, could be nice and not nice in the same way there. That this happened after the fight there, since the stats are based on Alex's level and everything. The uh, stats of the boss monster there, and all that. So yep. <laughs> but you know, hey, range plus one. Nice. Nice, so now Alex can move farther in the battle on the battlefield to his targets there. So hooray, and Luna gains a level as well. Nice, nice. Nice bit of stats there. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Like I said, maybe a bit of a blessing or maybe a <laughs> maybe not that Alex gained the level here that we leveled up there. It would have been nice if Luna leveled up <laughs> on her own there, but hey, we won, Alex! Did we pass the trial? I hope that was the last monster. I barely have the strength to stay in the air! Let's ho head for the exit, Alex. Let's hope for daylight. Well, we could head for the exit, but there could be more treasure. <laughs> ah, well, we are beat up here, but mm, I want that treasure. <laughs> we can't actually come back down into the trial uh, cave afterwards, I do believe, from the top side. So we could go up, heal up, and come back down in here to see what's head there but uh, you know I'm gonna save here we're just gonna uh, we're gonna risk it we're gonna go <laughs> forward and see what's up ahead all right now let's go ahead and take a look at what we have up here we definitely have a fight here all right more running away from the ice mongrels there but it is worth noting that uh, after you leave here the monsters should respawn repopulate here so you can come down here and do a little bit of level grinding against the ice mongrels since they give you so much experience just be and since you'll have access to using your magic to take them out in one round with like the explosion staff there so yep yeah, it's definitely worth coming back here and giving that a shot there but you know what i want i want treasure i'll treasure the healing ring nice nice a very nice uh, item here. Let's go ahead and uh, should we give it to Alex there? Alex probably be more in front there, so it's taking more damage there. But yeah, this uh, I think that I think that Lake had this there, the same thing there. It uh, gives you a regen effect there, so you gain some more HP back as you're in the battle there. So we will give it to Alex for now. I might change that later there, but for now, let's go ahead and have it on our main upfront uh, damage dealer 
there, get him some more health. <laughs> and now let's head to the exit. Hopefully. Hmm. I don't know, this doesn't look exity. Huh, anything over here? Uh, up around here. Oh, well, that looks exity there. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek down around here first, though. <laughs> hey, look at that. All the way back around here. All we had to do was... If we could do some uh, rock climbing, some wall climbing there, we could have gotten here right at the beginning. <laughs> and saved ourselves all the trouble there. Alright, so yeah, nothing of worth. Uh, can we talk? Uh, no. okay. <laughs> Alright, so yep. Yeah, nothing here but the way out. Huzzah. Hello and welcome. You have reached the end of the Cave of Trial. As new members of the Magic Guild, you may begin studies in vain. You may also use items again. Huzzah! Good luck to you, and go with the blessing of the goddess. Hooray! So, yeah, we can use items again there. Let me see if it's, like, literally now. Nope. <laughs> nope, once we exit here. <laughs> Alright. Welcoming new members into the guild never grows tiresome. Ah, well, like, does it happen very often there? It doesn't seem like many people get through here, especially the guy... There's a guy back there. You might want to check on him. He's been here for a few years. Yeah. <laughs> might want to make sure that he's doing okay mentally and... Physically, for that matter. <laughs> All right, but hey, uh, made it to a building there. That's a nice sight. And welcome to the Magic City of Vane. Wow, here we are, Alex. The Magical City of Vane. It's beautiful, Alex. Now I said we could find him at the Magic Guild. All we have to do now is find it. <laughs> Fair enough there. So, yep. Uh, I do believe that, like I said, we can go back into that room there. Uh back down into the trial cave there. I'm kind of looking around to see. I know there's got to be a statue here somewhere. Okay, this is uh, worth mentioning here. Let's go ahead and try stepping on this. And this will take us back to the transmission spring there. So yeah, now we can... Uh, let's go ahead and see if this guy says anything here. Magic members may transport from here directly to Vane. We have to pass the trial. Okay, I think that, that's what you said before. There, but now if we step on it here... Since we have passed the trials, we're taking straight up to Vane there. No more, no more cave of trial there. <laughs> so that's pretty nice there. Uh, what would be really nice is uh, some healing there. I just don't remember where the healing is around here. But you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look around the Magic City of Vane there and uh, see the sights, if you will. Uh, any unimportant dialogue there, I'll cut out there. I'm going to try to talk to more people. Oh, all Dragon Masters, all Dragon Masters are masters of magic, but Dime was the best of the best. Huh, really? Hmm, that's interesting there. His spells were as dangerous as a sword. He was a total hunk. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of interesting there. You don't really think, at least it doesn't really come to my mind, the, the Dragon Master being uh, a spellcaster there. So that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, into the armor shop here. Alright, what are we selling here? Armor isn't just tough, it's magically reinforced for your protection. Alright, so new armor gets, yes, nice. Alright, we got the chainmail armor, linked armor there. And we got a good bit of money to spend now. <laughs> Magical robes, magically delicious. <laughs> Alright, and a silver shield, better than gold it says there. <laughs> Alright, a, oh. Okay, is this the same armor slot I do believe there? A silver bracelet there, just a little bit cheaper. There perhaps, and maybe other people can use it there. It doesn't seem that Luna can use it there, but yeah. <laughs> and a steel armlet there, which I do believe she already has. And a fruity bandana, very colorful attire. Uh, not for anybody that we have with us currently there. Let's go ahead and uh, get Alex and Luna all decked out in new gear here. Why not? <laughs> While we're here. Everybody all nice and set up there. So yeah, that does take the same armor spot there. So yeah, okay. Maybe for somebody else. And we'll sell what we don't need here. Hooray for upgrades. And putting all that money to use that we've been getting. <laughs> nice, bit of, nice chunk of change there from the Cave of Trials. Alright, and how is this an item shop? An alchemy shop there? What kind of, what kind of goodies do you have here? This is the best item shop in all of Vane. It's also the only one in the city, but hey. <laughs> Hey, you know, gotta, gotta appreciate that advertising spin there. <laughs> oh, okay, so this uh, healing nuts, antidotes, and uh, cleansing water there, cures paralysis there, so that could be something 
Uh, I would say that could have been something of use against the uh, Truffle Troubler there, but we couldn't use items in that fight. So, <laughs> so yeah, not as useful as it might have been there. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, I'll drop by again sometime. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, what's this big old house here? Let's take a look. Uh, very big house. <laughs> Yanni and Lumia started learning magic when they were children. And look at where they are today. That's what I want for my boy. And that's why he's here. He's going to make Galleon look like the spell ca <laughs> casting hack that he is. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, good luck to that. And good luck to your son. Hi. Where'd you come from? I came from Village of Land. Oh, huh. I don't think we've been there yet. My parents say I have a talent for magic, so they brought me here to study at the guild. But I miss my friends, and I don't want to study. I want to go home. Ah, oh, poor kid there. Uh, you know, that's kind of a sad thing there when uh, parents force their uh, their expectations, their wishes on kids to that extreme. A little sad. And you got a daughter, too, there. But like, you know, you guys only talked about the son there. Uh, my brother and I are the best magicians in the land. Yeah, huh? That's why our parents moved here. Uh, uh, again, they only talked about the son there. Disappointing there. Shame on these parents. All kids at the guild are good at magic too. I don't, I don't like being not the best, not being the best. <laughs> so I have to study all day and night to make sure I'm better than everyone else. Well, I mean, you know, good luck to you, kid. There, I mean, if you're passionate about it, there, don't forget you're still a child. And you go outside and play once in a while. Anything else? I'll oh, plan time to play when I'm old. Until then, I have to study hard. Uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't always work out that way there. Not nearly as much time to play as you might think. <laughs> I say as I sit here and play a video game. <laughs> Alright, and... Hey, Miss Sir. Or welcoming party there. Welcome to the Magic City of Bane, home of the Magic Guild. And heart of the world. You know, you probably shouldn't be here, because, like, nobody that's <laughs> new is really supposed to come up from here. You should be probably at the trial cave entrance there. Because, you know, uh... Magic Guild members are the only ones apparently allowed to come up from this from this point there. <laughs> another house there, another group of people to talk to. Hey, I bet you've heard of the, heard of the Magic Emperor, haven't you? Uh, we've heard that name mentioned a couple times there, I do believe. He's a bad man in charge of the Vile Tribe. I'm gonna punch him in the head until he's my friend. Bam, pow, whack! Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess it's one way to make friends. <laughs> he's a feisty one, Alex. Just like you. Just like you were. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, nothing else in this house here, I do believe. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, apparently we can check the cupboard here to get a little extra from doll. You, you know what they need to invent? A magic dish. You put it on the table, think about the food, and it appears in front of you. That could be, <laughs> could be the best idea you've ever had. I agree, I agree. I'd totally be on board for a magic dish like that. <laughs> yes, please. All right, more exploring to do there. Hello. Have you heard of the Black Rose Street? It's the most famous section of Moribia. It's home of many graduates and uh, business associates of the Magic Guild. Oh, well, okay, that's pretty pretty cool there that they are kind of associated with the guild here. <laughs> that's about all the items sold there are actually made here in vain. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool too. Uh, weapon shop here, probably got the fire rod here, other rods probably. Here's Vane's weapon shop. You can purchase weapons that have been magically reinforced. Okay. Oh, okay. New sword there for Alex from the looks of it. A saber. A dueling sword there. Alright, nice bit of attack boost there. Sure, let's buy it. And we got the... Oh, okay. A dream rod that uh, Luna can equip there. Huh. That's interesting there. Hmm. Well, you know what? We'll go ahead and buy it there. And we're going to hold on to her... Uh, her bow there. And maybe we'll still show off the REM rod there. <laughs> and we'll probably buy... Nash a fire cane when he comes back into the party there. Should he come back, I suppose? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Thank you, shopkeep. Right. Uh, we haven't been into this house here. That's interesting looking house. What is this place? Hello. Are you the latest batch of students for the Magic Guild? How can I help you? Oh, okay. This is like an accessory shop, huh? Okay, that's pretty cool there. But dang, this, this is expensive here. <laughs> These two are expensive here. Uh, first of all, to increase the spiritual power there, so... A little bit of defense boost, but a uh, big wisdom boost there, and uh, it only loses the the attack power because of uh, the fire ring that Alex has equipped there, I do believe, there. And then the double pendant there, uh, 
magical resistance there, so basically the same thing there. Either uh, magic defense or magic attack power. And then we got some more items here. It's strange that the item shop didn't have these items there for being the best item shop in vain. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so we can buy Angel Tears here. And, uh, Holy War recovers from conditions. I do believe that this is basically like the um, heal all item of the game here. So, yeah, yeah. Not a bad little shop there. Just don't have the money for it. If I want to, again, I could go down and grind a little bit against the Ice Mongrels there since they've dropped a good bit of money and experience as well. But, uh, we'll, th we'll see. I don't think I'm going to do that, but we'll see. <laughs> have you visited our magic library? I think it's even more magnificent than the guild. Maybe they have books about the dragons, Alex. That's actually probably a, not a bad idea. Again, no, there. All right, everyone. That will bring this episode of Lunar the Silver Star Story Complete to a close. You can rest up at the nearest Goddess Althena statue, but don't stray too far from the bus. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when the next episode goes up. Until that time comes, stay gold, my friends.